We'll guide you through how to make a presentation with pictures on a laptop or PC. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Perhaps this is for a school or work project. We'll guide you through. So we can go and use the PowerPoint app on your computer if you have it. You'll need to go and pay for this, or you'll need to go and have a subscription, or it'll need to be part of your work or school account. Alternatively though, we can use it for free online. So what you can do is go and open up a web browser, go and type in Microsoft 365 like so, and you'll need to go and have a Microsoft account, create one if you haven't already got one, or press sign in. Come to the left and you can go and select PowerPoint and it will go and open up. And what we can do is go and press create blank presentation. You can use a template if you want to. Go and see the title screen here. You can go and click and then type in what you want to go and call it. After you go and do this, you can go and select it by double clicking or just clicking, holding and dragging. And what you can then do is you can go and change the font at the top. You can go and change the font size, make it bold and make your different edits. And you can also go and add in a subtitle as well. Once you're then happy with that and you want to get to the next slide, go to the top left and you can press new slide. Now we can go and add a title here. So I'm gonna go and add some text. Then you can go and add even more here. So I can go and type in something here. But to go and add in a picture, what we can do is go to the top left and press insert, go and find the option for pictures and click there. You can then choose from this device so you can upload one. You can choose stock images and search on the web. So in this case, I'll choose stock images like so. And what you can then do is go and search for what you want. So I may search man on computer like so. And we can then go and see what we've got available here. I could go and click this one and press insert and it'll then be added in. And then what we can do is go and resize it by using these corner points like so. And you can then go and drag it where you want it to go and be. So you can get the idea. You can also go and browse elsewhere online, download them and upload them as I just showed you. So let's continue editing this. If you wish as well, you can go and put this behind text. To do that, what you need to do is go and right click on it. And then you want to go and hover over a range and you could go and put press or send backwards and you can go and have it under the text. When you're ready to get to the next slide, you can then go and press new slide. And what you can also do is you can go and add in different transitions and animations between the slides as well. And when you're ready to go and present it, you can press slideshow at the top and you can go and press from beginning and it'll then go and start. As you can see, what you can also do is go and download it to your computer if you need to go and submit it. Press file in the top left and you can go and hover over create a copy and then you can press download a copy like so and press download and it's now downloaded and you can then go and upload it elsewhere or go and edit it on your computer.